Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review of my Marin DSX-1 bike, one year in. It may not be a mainstream travel topic, but since I'm really into bikepacking and bike touring as a way to travel, I feel it's a good one. This year's plans include more time on the Eurovelo 6, from Passau to Vienna, a day trip from Vienna to Bratislava, and maybe a two to three day trip on the Iron Curtain Trail. The name alone reminded me of a really great day I had a few years back, riding 100K on the Iron Horse, or John Wayne Trail in Washington State. That trail featured one of the longest, gnarliest, darkest, drippiest tunnels I have ever come across in my cycling trips. Anyway, last summer I was getting my giant AnyRoad 2 tuned up at my local bike shop and I noticed that he had these Marin bikes for sale. One bike he had hanging on the wall was a Marin Four Corners. Thought it looked great, but I was happy with my giant and I couldn't see buying another drop bar bike with thinner tires. I was riding 32 mils on my giant. Around that time, I had also been watching a lot of GCN videos on YouTube and was seeing very cool offerings of flat bar gravel bikes with one by drivetrains. One by really intrigued me. My bike guy here in Vienna, see the link in the description below, had a Marin DSX-1 sitting on the floor. I thought it looked really great, but he only had a size small. And with supply chain issues, he said it could be six months until he got more in. So. Two to three weeks later, I'm back at the bike shop after I broke a hanger bolt during a ride. Luckily, I was within a few miles of Vienna and was able to skateboard and roll my bike back to a subway end station and get home pretty easily. Well, I walk into the bike shop with my busted bike and there are literally 10 boxes of Marin DSX-1s sitting in his entryway. I got downright giddy and I asked him to put one together for me to test ride. The next day he called and I was there like a shot. From the minute I got on the bike, it felt absolutely great. The upright posture, the smooth shifting, the 42 millimeter Riddler WTB tires, and puke green might not be everyone's favorite color, but I think it looks great. I bought the bike on the spot. I still ride my giant any road for quote unquote speed work on the Danube Island trails, flat and traffic free, and the term speed needs to be taken with a grain of salt. I'm 58, so two hours at 18 miles an hour, 30k per hour is my top end, and I'm good with that. But for all other rides, which is about 2,200 more miles worth during these past 11 months, and I was gone for two and a half months in winter, I am always pulling the Marin DSX off the rack in the garage. You see, a lot of my rides have a significant urban component. Riding through busy Vienna makes the upright position a little safer, and I feel much more able to respond to dick moves by cars or selfie chasing tourists who walk backwards out into streets or bike lanes, or the occasional dog that screams squirrel and bolts across the bike path. The bike also makes riding the cobblestones in the city and up on the Hernstrasse, which is a mountain ridge road on the outskirts of Vienna, much more enjoyable. And of course, once up in the hills, I feel I can just turn off at any point and use the network of mountain bike trails to connect back down to the city from that high ridge road. Feeling confident on any surface is a big part of any riding experience. I also use two-sided Shimano M324 pedals and I ride in Giro Rumble VR shoes. The two-sided pedals mean I can unclip in dicey urban situations and flip and click back in when things calm down again. The Giro shoes are great because they allow me to walk around very normally with the recessed clip. This past weekend my buddy Miguel and I took a 36 mile or 60k ride down the Danube Island, uh, Donau Insel, then veered off onto the Eurovelo 6 heading south towards Bratislava just a bit before turning into the Lobau National Park with its maze of gravel trails. Some mud, plenty of tree roots, but good protection against windy conditions that often exist in Vienna. The Marin DSX-1 was made for days like this, and I live up a hill that's 8% for nearly a mile, so the end of every ride I take is ending with this gift. But the DSX-1 has such a great range on the rear, 11 to 51, that I never struggle. Sometimes I even choose the shorter, steeper uphill at the end, which is 12 to 14% for about half a mile. Now, I've told you all the good things about the bike, but what about the flip side? I really only have one significant issue. The front through axle bolt doesn't like to stay tight. It loosens up badly about every two weeks. My bike guy has examined this a few times. There is no stripping, no obvious damage, and he has put some special adhesive spray gunk. Uh, I don't know what exactly, but it, it gets it to hold for a few months. Uh, I have no such issue with the rear axle. The other thing is that the bike is so front end light, relatively speaking, that I often feel like it wants to lift off a bit when I'm going up anything over a 10% grade. 
Now, could this be me, my riding posture? I guess it could, but I have a 36 inch inseam, so I need the seat to be way high up. And I think that raises my center of gravity enough to cause this sensation for lack of a better word. All in all, I couldn't be happier with this bike. It really seems to be able to do anything. It wasn't meant to be super fast, but it can go and it can handle any surface and any gradient with ease. Well, thanks for indulging me to carry on about how much I like my bike. And, and please give me your comments below. And if you're ever out on the Eurobellows in Austria, I'll look for the guy on the puke green Marin with a big ass smile on his face because that'd be me. Uh, take care and hope to see you next time on my channel. Bye.